here's my powder coat uh, booth that I made up, my uh, spray booth, which is really pretty simple. I uh, just made it out of PVC pipe and some corrugated uh, plastic. What I did is ordered um, these uh, T ends or corners, these PVC corner uh, pipe ends to make the corners up. Now this is made out of one and a half inch PVC which is probably a little overkill. Uh, I think you could probably get away with with one inch. I just made it a little bit more sturdier. Uh, that's my powder coat gun in there. I'm getting ready to start doing a little powder coating and what I did in the back is I uh, used a uh, furnace filter and I just put up some aluminum um, L kind of bracketing in there to hold the filter. I'm using a uh, 16 by 20 by 1 filter. Kind of went with that because that's the size I use in my house for my furnace filter so I'm not having to buy separate filters but I'll show you here in a minute on the back how I've got a vacuum hooked up. I just ran some all thread uh, through the side of the uh, PVC pipe there to hang my um, parts that I'm powder coating and I'm using some little swivel connectors there so I can you know, kind of turn them around pretty easily inside the uh, booth there, okay? And I'll uh, show you the side of it here. You can see where the powder coat ground's hooked up. And that uh, all thread just goes right through the uh, side of the pipe there, so that gives it a lot of strength, you know, for holding parts that may be a little heavier. I just put wing nuts on the end there to kind of lock it down. Uh, you can kind of see the sides, how I did the uh, corners uh, with the pipe. This is just a uh, corrugated uh, plastic sheeting I got over at Home Depot. I think the whole uh, thing probably cost me about, I don't know, 50 bucks maybe uh, to build. Uh, that was going with one and a half inch pipe. I bet you could probably do this whole setup for 35, 40 bucks if you went with this one inch uh, pipe. And then in the back what I did uh, is just took some of the corrugated plastic and built a little kind of air chamber in the back. You can see the top and I'm using just a really good white uh, duct tape which works great to kind of seal the corners off and then I just have my vacuum hooked up to it uh, right beside my sandblaster there which I use for the same thing for my air evacuation there. It works great. So there's my hookup uh, going up into my uh, my paint cabinet which works fantastic and uh, I just really don't get any, any uh, paint clouds or anything moving outside the booth. So I uh, went with uh, the Harbor Freight powder coating uh, system. Works fantastic. Uh, you know, probably in a professional environment, uh, you know, may, may be a little different, I don't know, but you know, in a home garage uh, for what I'm doing for some small restoration project, projects, it works great. And I also ordered the um, Harbor Freight powder coating oven. You know, I was looking at converting an oven over. Uh, probably would have spent, you know, hundreds of dollars doing that and came away with something that probably wouldn't work. So I went in and coughed up the, uh, the money for this oven and I absolutely love this thing. Um, it fits right under my workbench, which is great. Um, it's an 18 by 18 by 18 opening, which is plenty big uh, for what I'm doing. Uh, heats up great. Um, I'm just totally thrilled with the whole setup and you know this whole setup here uh, probably ran me um, I don't know 600 700 bucks 650 700 dollars for the whole setup and again I can do a, a ton of stuff and you know good thing about Harbor Freight is you get those 20 percent off coupons and save some money there's the inside of the oven which is nice it has a couple of hanging bars plenty of racks uh, elements are in the bottom all stainless steel coated uh, it has a fan you can see up top there, which uh, works great for circulating the air. Um, uh, it does come with a rack there that I'm going to use here in a minute. I uh, set a couple of parts on there. And then you can see the controls down at the bottom. But I tell you, I'm just thrilled to death uh, with this whole setup. When I was looking at powder coat ovens, as you know, you can spend thousands on these. And, you know, for a garage, uh, this works absolutely fantastic. And it's a 110 unit, which is nice, you know, going with a old oven conversion you're, you're going to be using 220 so that's a consideration as well and uh, everything's great haven't blown any fuses everything's working working super so that's kind of my my powder coat setup i hope that helps uh, you guys that are maybe looking at wanting to set up a little uh 
little setup in your garage and, and get going. Again, it can be pretty cost effective and I can tell you it's, it's fun and easy and clean up is super and you're not having to mess with all those wet paints and you know spending more time cleaning up than, than you are actually uh, doing your project. So I hope you enjoy it. Talk to you soon. Bye.